Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome to a new Path of Exile video with me, Nyx, your host. And today we're going to be discovering the Blight. We're going to be talking to Sister Cassia. I think she's a sister. I'm not sure. We're going to find out all about it today. I don't know anything. I haven't read any guides. I've watched a trailer because people have told me you should at least watch the trailer. So I've watched a trailer. And the good people on the Nyx Villain Discord told me I can find her by discovering a Blight encounter in a map. So I guess we'll start with that. We're going to jump in to a map, force it to have a blight encounter, and just go from there and see what we can discover. So first things first, it would be cool also if I could increase one of my Syrian Exarch or Eater of World quests at the same time. All right, let's jump in and I can use this here to force a blight. Let's try it, see what happens. We'll start by juicing the maps as you do. Into the Wildwood. Before we get started with blight, there is one thing one little itty bitty thing that I really want to talk to you about. That's right, baby, Raid Shadow Legends, a name you've undoubtedly heard before. It's crossing paths with Monster Hunter. Yes, you heard that right. And Monster Hunter is one of my favorite games of all time. So for those who thrive on epic crossovers like I do, this one's a headline grabber. Imagine combining the gameplay of Raid Shadow Legends with the legendary beast of Monster Hunter. Sounds like an adventure waiting to happen, right? So the crossover event has happens between January 9th, 2024, which has already started, to March 5th. So you don't have much time. And it's not just any promotion, by the way. It's a chance to witness two massive worlds collide together. You'll have the opportunity to collect five Monster Hunter-themed legendary champions, from Rathalos to Zenogar, these are not your average champions. And for anyone logging into raid within this period, the Rathalos Blademaster champion is on the house after seven days of play. The event doesn't stop there though. It includes special in-game events, community gatherings, and more. It's a limited time affair that's generating buzz for all the right reasons. Also, don't miss out on the latest Cursed City update. It's packed with a hundred stages of challenges, offering you guys a chance to claim a mythical champion. It's shaping up to be an update that'll test your limits and reward your efforts for sure. Now, I like to put my money where my mouth is, and I've been playing quite a bit of Raid Shadow Legends, actually. I was able to download it, I tried it out, and I even created a clan. More about that in a second. So if this piques your interest, why don't you guys dive in? By using the link below or scanning the QR code, you're in for some exclusive bonuses. Start off with 500k silver, a healthy dose of energy and chicken, and on top of that, you'll get Juliana, a formidable boss slayer upon reaching level 15, which takes about 30 minutes or so, so not too bad. I'm keen to see how raid fans and newcomers alike are going to embrace the crossover. So if you're ready to explore what raid shadow legends and monster hunter have in store, your adventure begins now. If you want to join me, here's my in-game name and make sure to join the Nyx clan. That's the name of the clan for Nyx Vellum. So just hit my link in the description and I'll see you on the epic Raid Shadow Legends battlefield. I've been told to follow these blue ones here to continue my quest, because my quest is to find the King in the Mists strong. If I follow the blue, I should find him. So I've been told. It'd be better if my auras were on, right? Classic Nyx, we're getting all my auras. Got some charms, ooh, cool. Damn it, I gotta be more careful. I didn't even do the blight encounter yet. Okay, what's the debuff that's hitting me right now? Because it is destroying me. Oh, I hear Sister Cassia. There's some text in the bottom left of my screen. Burning away our sins, burning away our sins, burning away our sins, burning away our sins. Where are you, Sister Cassia? Oh, like she's singing. Okay, let me clear the zone, sister. You're not, you're not safe here. All right, Cassia. Hi, sister. How are you doing? Interact to begin the blight encounter. Sure. Build a tower, build a tower? Build a tower near the mycelium to help protect Cassius Pump. Summoning tower, seismic tower. Oh wow, there's a lot to choose from. I guess I'll go with seismic tower. Oh, there's a new tower. This is a tower defense thing. They're following the trail. What? Did GGG put a game within a game? Wait, I need to focus here. What am I doing? Oh, the amount of enemies, oh my God. Okay, I'll just go with fire. I'll just fire the whole thing because I, I don't have time to read or think. There you go, it's all fire. Should I be building like as much as I can? I mean, it seems like it. I've got the availability and can I level them up? No. Oh, you can level up the 10 horrors. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's, there's a guy, there's a guy, kill him. Oh, they successfully destroyed it. No. 
quite sucked. There's a lot of stuff. This is fun. This is really fun. I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but success? Anoint items. How does that work? What are these? Virgin oil can be combined with other oils at Cassia to enchant rings or amulets or to modify blighted maps. So like a, this? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to have to figure this out. At least the quest is completed. So what does that mean? Okay, let's finish the map and um, add her to my hideout because I know I had to meet her once to be able to add her to my hideout. And that's the boss. Nearly killed. Done. Oh, I finally understood what it means at the end when it tells you Atlas mission received. It just means I can go to Nico and force him to be in the map in a way. Okay, wow. Amazing. So first of all, let's take a few of these guys out. Nico, you're great. I like you a lot, but I don't need you so close to everything else. Same goes for you, Jun. You're lovely, but right now we're not doing any syndicate stuff. Okay, Sister Cassia. Hello. So she can anoint stuff, so I can't launch a map, but she can anoint stuff. Is there a blight stash that I could purchase potentially? That might be a good idea, right? Oh, there is. Cool. It's not too expensive, I guess. Five bucks. Buckaroonies. I mean, just for the fact that they've added a tower defense game in Path of Exile, GGDG deserves four bucks considering this was free <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of blight stuff i type blight a few places i can go in my passive tree so i'll go for the furthest first let's see lanes of blight encounters in your maps have five percent chance for an additional reward chest two percent chance on completing your maps to gain a free use of your blight map crafting option that would be amazing varieties of items contained in three blight chests in your map are lucky blight chests in your maps have 80 percent more chance to contain blighted maps yeah i mean sold i, I mean what are blighted maps though <laughs> i only got the oils maybe i should play a bit more before putting points down i just have so many points i'm also thinking blight bosses in your maps have 20 percent chance to add an additional reward i do love a good reward blight spawn i'm not too far from it too i could just go bip 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 this one blight chests in your map have five percent increased chance to contain blighted maps or oils so i've only discovered oils yet not maps but i'm guessing the maps i know what a map is so this must be important blight chests in your map have 10 percent chance to contain an oil extractor What's an oil extractor? Seems important. 50% more unique monsters. That's kind of good. Can I get there in two? Kind of. One, two. All right, cool. So I've got like a blight passive tree. I mean, as much as I can, as well as essence and, and uh, also the boxes, because I really like the boxes. I don't want to take that out. Let's go do some more maps. There's a few here that I haven't done. Oh, I forgot. Did I actually buy the oils? Did I buy the oils? Oh my God, I didn't even buy it. I just bought the money. Blight stash tab. Let's go. Here it is. Blight affinity, of course. Again, as I was mentioning, time for maps. Okay, 14 is here. I do have a couple here, 14. Cannot leech from monsters? That sounds terrible. Let me change that. There we go. Monsters gain endurance charge. It's fine. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's go for that one. What about fragments? Blight. Scarabs. There you go. Area contains a blight encounter. How about that? I might have to buy some from the trading store later. All right, rock and roll. All right, let's clear the area first. Also, of course, I've got this decision to take. 2.5 chances to drop an additional Lesser Eldric Ember or final boss. Oh, create concentrated ground on hit, lasting six seconds. Map boss. Yeah, I'll do that for the map boss. I don't mind. Glorious plate to be sold later on for some money. All right, Icor Pump, let's go. So I got 12 seconds to set up. So I'll set up closer to where they come out of, right? That's important. Oh my God, there's a lot already here. I don't even have time to think. I'll just summon, just summon. See what happens if I summon. Everything's gonna be a summon. <laughs> so these summon towers, are they any good? Oh, it's branching out. I don't even know where to look anymore. Good thing is I'm not feeling the pressure too much in terms of the damage of the mobs, but these mobs are moving around. It seems like my summons are taking most of the, the attention. Does that make sense? See, like the guys are, the, the enemies are actually stopping to hit these guys. Oh, oh my God, I cannot believe it. Is it actually doing what I think it's doing? Like you can select your upgrades. How is that ever gonna happen? When, when am I gonna have the time to do such a thing? This is crazy because I'm just going to click. I'm just going to click. That's all I can do. And I'm trying not to die. Oh my gosh. This is fun, but also overwhelming. Good thing I've got my Bob Listas to help me out. Fungal growth successfully destroyed. One chaos orb. Thank you. Blighted Cove's map. There we go. I have to check that out. Blighted ghetto map. Some oil. So these are a bunch of oils. And an oil extractor. That's why I specced into this stuff. Oh, look at all this. Okay, we're just going to open everything. Pause for the really cool thumbnail picture. <laughs> 
some silver oil. What are all these oils gonna do? A good way for me to kind of figure out if it's good or not is actually to have a look at their value on the trade. So one of these silver oils is worth 55 chaos orbs. That is amazing. What about these extractors? 20 chaos orbs. I've got three of those. What about a blighted map? 13 chaos. This is this is a money maker right here. And a 50 chaos for the other blighted map. I'm gonna try a blighted map after this. All right, let's finish the map. I wonder, do you guys ever like, do you guys ever f not finish a, a map just because you don't need to? Like, or is it always, always better to finish a map? That's the real question here. Oh my God. So many mobs. It's the best. I wonder if, if blight is gonna end up being my favorite mechanic. Oh my God. This mob is just not dying. This boss, absolutely impossible to kill. I don't know why. She keeps healing more than I'm damaging her and I, I'm running out of options here. She's nearly dead. She's near so close. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, there you go. Map complete. All right, we're good. I got my spicy maps that we're going to be trying in a second. So, Blight, where are my maps? There they are. So they're just normal maps. So can I make them really spicy? If I go here and I use this, yeah, I can make them spicy. So what am I looking at? Map items, quantity modifiers also affect Blight chests. Can be anointed up to three times. Let's try it. Anoint item. Can I anoint a map? Yes. I just need three little flasks. All right, let's have a look at these flasks. I have some here. Should I just try these? So the, the, some are rarer than others. I'm just gonna check that I'm not doing a, a oopsie and sell and using things that are worth a lot of money. No, these look okay. All right, wait, one more. I need one more. What about this sepia one? I've got eight of them. Yeah, maybe. Okay, Sister Cassia, anoint my map with this green. Oh, look at that. Can I have another one? Look at that. 90% increased experience game. I don't need the experience though. Get out of here. What about blue juice? Blight monsters spawn 30% faster. Encounter duration is 50 seconds shorter. Well, I'm just going to go for orange juice, I think. Let's go with three orange juices. There you go. Three orange juices. And it's going to anoint it. Here we go. You've been anointed. If I want to anoint, let's say, this really cool little ring that I have. Minions summoned by your summoning towers have 25% increased damage. So I can anoint an item to, to help me. And this one helps minions. Should I go for it? I went for it. I went for it. I did a thing. I know. I'm crazy. I'm a crazy. Probably did something really bad. Okay, so... I'm going to do this this blighted map and we'll see what the deal is all about. Because of what I have on my ring, I'm going to go for summoning, basically. Ah, what are all these things on my screen? Wait, how far do we go here? Summoning, summoning. I got 40 seconds to prepare. And there's already a summoning thing here. Maybe this is a good opportunity for me to be able to read, potentially. 29 seconds. Ooh, Sentinel summons one durable minion. Minion damage low, minion life high. Can only be summoned minion when previous minions are dead. Ineffective against blighted monsters of the same type. And this one, Scout Tower, summons 10 flying minions. I, I gotta go, I gotta go. I don't have time. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's, 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 my minions can do the work. Oh, these guys are low, it's really slow. Okay, minions, go. Minions, go, attack. Minions, attack, do the thing. Come on, minions, let's go, minions, come on. Minions? All right, these minions are garbage. What's going on? Oh, it's spreading now. So there's different parts where they can like start walking these enemies. All right, all right. Summoning. Whoa, is that, are those my summons? Like mini helicopters. Oh, that's cute. Oh my God, there's a lot they're gonna make it. <gasps> No, 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 no. Oh my God, I didn't realize they're coming from the other side. No. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I failed. That was not great. That was also kind of overwhelming in terms of like the amount of things to keep track of. Okay, I'll start over. Okay, I gotta try again. Maybe I don't need to juice my map this much. Come on, one more. Okay, I mean, I've played some, even finished some tower defense games in the past. So, I mean, I feel like I could probably figure this out if I'm a bit smart. I do have the summoning one, like with 25%. So that's pretty good. Let's see what else we got. There's an empowering, empower, empowering. There you go, empower, that's pretty good. So all these guys are now empowered. That's gotta be worth something, right? Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. These are all upgraded and I'm probably gonna keep a few. Maybe some stunning. I think maybe a seismic tower might be helpful here with another summoning tower because I never know when to stop with my summoning towers, but that's another question. Ah, see, new routes. This is where I need to start thinking smartly. So there's gonna be a lot of folks coming in here. So I'm gonna upgrade these. Always the same, go for that. That's pretty good. And I need to be able to leave them alone and trust that they're gonna do a good job. Does that make sense? Ah, she's mentioned new routes again. So I need to leave this place now and go back and check these routes here. Yeah, there we go. See what I'm talking about? Like this is absolutely insane. I need an upgraded tower real soon. Uh, upgrade tower right here. Uh, durability is so fragile. Yeah, branching out, extra branching. It's not good. How am I supposed to survive two minutes? That's crazy. Okay, I'm doing my best. And I think somehow something's working. 
there's they're more body blocking than anything else right now which i have no issues with oh no five out of 20 i'm not gonna survive i'm not gonna survive unfortunately how are we supposed to kill this guy get back here kill him kill him kill him kill him, kill him. did i make it yes i can't deal with all these roots <laughs> there's more coming through i gotta stop him gotta stop him oh no that was it did i get something for all that not really Makes me sad a bit. Makes me feel like I didn't succeed. Poor me. Oh, but now that I think about it, the Bone Shadow build, is there anything here that I should know about in terms of oils? Ah, ah, here we go. Spell suppression. The number one thing to improve your survival in red mats is to get nearly 100% spell suppression chance. This requires an amulet anointment of instinct, two sepia oil, and an azure oil. Uh-huh. So potentially I could do that. Do I have sepia oil? Yeah, I got four. So what do I need? Two sepia and one azure. Do I have azure? Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Oh, and I could do it right from here. So two sepia, one azure. 12% chance to suppress spell damage. Okay, spell suppression chance. Can I search through here? I need, this needs a search bar. I don't see anything. Okay, let's let's do the, the modification anyway. All right, here goes. Anoint, 12% chance to suppress spell damage. How does that increase my defense anyway? Oh yeah, there you go. Spell damage suppression chance. 27 becomes 52. Nice. That's good, right? Any other oils? That was actually easier. I didn't have to farm that at all. That search bar is clutch here. All right, well, good. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Cool. Back into maps I go. Oh, I got an arid lake map. That's awesome. All right, so first and foremost, I need to identify this. Let's go make sure there's no leech. Oh, it's map level 16. Maybe that's too much now. Maybe I'll do the Colosseum map first. Yes, I am a very courageous person. Why do you ask? So yeah, Colosseum, let's go for that one. Players are cursed. That's great. Monsters have pressed spell damage. Yeah, that should be fine. And cultists of Katawa rule the land. And this is a map tier 15. So let's go with that one. I'm going to corrupt it because that's what you're supposed to do. I'm going to force a blight with a scarab. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, I need to put a map in. <laughs> okay, here we go now. Good luck to me. There's been a lot of teaching moments for me in, in Path of Excel since I've started getting into red maps. Like, I've been um, I've been humbled a few moments. Like, I've been trying to go too fast, too far, too quickly. And so, yeah, no. I need to... Slow and steady wins the race sometimes, you know? Every time I die is a, is a learning moment. I want to get to level 100, you know? It's super important to me. Ooh, Death Bear Void Axe. That looks kind of cool. Is that worth anything? Not much, but it is red, so fancy. Oh, Cassia, there she is with her songs. All right, do I need to kill anybody? Maybe just clear the grounds. This might be a good map for this, actually, because it's so linear. Let's empower these guys. There you go, you're empowered, GG. Oh, I only have two? And it seems like these two here, it's at the bottom here, I'm looking at these three portals here at the bottom. When it's branching, does that just mean, ooh, I think I'm, I get to see into the future. That's what I'm kind of guessing at here. Am I right? So normally there'll be one more, one more branching, I think. Whoa, 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 I didn't see these guys. Yeah, one more branching before I finish, before I win. Gotta make sure these guys don't go through. These summons are just body blocking. How long is left on that? There's no timer. Okay, just gonna have to figure it out, I guess. But normally it's gonna branch out one more time. Come on, he's gotta be the last one, right? He's gotta be the last one to kill. Come on, come on. There you go, he's dead. We've done it, woo! few rings, some currency. Who's this guy? Ambrius, Legion Slayer. I've never fought him before, have I? Maybe during the campaign? I never know. There you go, dead. And I got an extra uh, less missions from June, which is great. And the Colosseum complete, one more point, brilliant. One more map, done. And I've unlocked a bunch of stuff. These oils take a lot of space in my bag. I don't know how I feel about that. Arid Lake, sounds good. Oh, this is my tier 16. Should I try the tier 16? Should I try it? Uh, I'll try it. Can I be taunted? That's fine. Can I be monsters blind on hit? Okay, that looks actually really good. I'll corrupt it. That'll be tier 16, that's pretty dope. Oh, also, of course, I need to put the scarab. That way, 100%, we're gonna have a blight. Not trying to juice, just trying to finish my quests. And I I think I need to follow the blue for that. I'm dead. There you go. Well, GG. Defeat the map boss. What? Yes. The Eater of Worlds. Oh, this is an Eater of Worlds thing? Okay. No problemo. Count on me. This is what I'm here for. Sister Cassia, show me the way. I should have cleared the map. Why did I not do that? Oh, this is going to be a tough one because I have to be on two fronts at the same time, north and south, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I don't, I don't know. I'm being honest, I don't know. I need to stun guys and take care of them myself. I don't want to, but kill the boss, kill the boss. Yep. Okay, how are you doing? Are you doing all right? Oh, I've done it. I've done it. GG. 
Nice one. So you can drop jewelry that already has something like this coral amulet. So I'll grab the coral amulet and a bunch of stuff, a bunch of currencies and some chests, some oils. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Superior blighted mineral pools map. So some maps. Nice. So these are some level 14 maps. All right, let's clear the map and then try to do a, a blue blighted map. See how far we can get. Screaming invitation. From the heart of the tangle, the Eater of Rold reaches out to control the Atlas. That seems like something I'm going to do on stream, so make sure you subscribe. I don't know why I sang that. Maps found in your maps have 1% chance to have an area contains a blight encounter. Yay, like that. Right, use the screaming invitation. Well, there you go, I did it. That means I got two invitations to go kill two bosses. So I'll have to see if I can defeat them. Commander Kurik. So if I have a look at my Atlas missions right now, I'm going to guess that I have two invitations. Yep, that's the one. Wait, how many invitations do I have? Probably a few. And superior blighted mineral map. Let's just jump into that. It's level 14. Seems really straightforward. Let's go for it. Oh, also, I should probably just like stash all my stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I forgot. Of course, my coral amulet. How could I forget? So I have this coral amulet that I can identify and it has allocates sanctum of thought, which is you take 30% reduced extra damage from critical strikes. Now, what I want to know is can I use an extractor? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, wait, did I just do that? Did I just extract it? I think I did. Destroys an item to recover one of the oils that was used to apply. Ooh, okay, we're learning little by little okay that's interesting okay this is blue it should be easier right okay maybe not <laughs> oh my god okay 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 so i want to have a green thing to improve everything around it and then summons summons and then seismic tower Boom, 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 boom. and i'll continue with the seismic tower because they're really helpful level all this up yeah there you go yeah, it's spreading some more, more roots. Seriously, that's crazy. I'll upgrade this, put an extra summon here. Yep, yep, feeling good. And we got a boss here, upgrade. I think we're doing pretty well. Okay, I gotta be careful here. Is everything okay here? I'm building, I'm building these towers that stun because I really want all the enemies to be stunned so that my summons can DPS effectively, basically. That seems like the best thing I can do. More branching outs, okay. What? I failed it. What happened? What happened? Oh, there was an other i bump? Is that possible? Like a second pump? Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Into the hideout. We'll try again. Blight. I got one more. It can be anointed up to three times. I think it'd be stupid not to. The anointments go both ways. Like, it increases the pack size every time. So, let's see if there's anything I can use. Reduce movements, uh, movement speed of the stuff. Uh, my eyes. I'm afraid of the 6%. Like, the extra 6%. It scares me. All right, let's try that again. Let's see if I could anoint. I should probably anoint my other ring here. Oh my God, it's like random. Which one should I go for? I guess I'm going to have to start exploring what the best ones are. Minions summon summoned by your scout towers have 25% increased damage. That might be helpful, actually. F it. I'll just go with that. See if that helps at all. So now I have minions summoned by your summoning towers have 25%. And then minions summoned by your scout towers, which are the long range one. So maybe that's the way to do it. Let's try it. So I'm going to do a freeze here. And I'm going to do summoning here and another freeze here and this summoning is going to be oh there you go scout tower ah interesting and then i'm going to do a bunch of smaller ones here smaller summoning see if that goes anywhere because if i upgrade them enough should be chill god i hope i get it better because i haven't been able to finish any of these maps yet new roots so she immediately is like there's new roots god you gotta go do them which is crazy to think about oh this is a good one here i'll go with a freeze over here and i'm out of money <laughs> here a good one would be again a summon some more guys over here bob listers help me out please slow and steady wins the race i can do this new roots. oh new roots so it seems like i'm just looking at the bottom of my screen still trying to figure out what's going on and it seems like some are illuminated like they're done and some are not illuminated like they're waiting to be activated or something so i guess that's what it might be okay now this is a good one um i need to freeze stuff how do I freeze? Freeze here, potentially? Nah. Yes, yes, freeze here. Let's go. And now I need to see it. The freezing is so good. I need a scouting tower right here somewhere, like real bad. 
three minutes to go. I need to upgrade a summoning. There's a summoning level two here. This is by far my favorite thing, by the way. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. It's super chill. It's really fun. I mean, I don't actually chill. It might not be the word I would use for this, but there's some new roots. So there's some roots coming through here now, which are very dangerous. So put some chill, put some summoning, and I'm dead somehow. I don't know why. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Summoning. Okay, no. I'm going to take some damage here. There's more branching. I mean, I don't know if I can do this, guys. Honestly, it's this is tough. This is real tough. I got to kill this banisher of the cleanse or whatever his name is. Come on, come on, come on. This is scary. He's obviously slowed down, but not enough. Get out of my way. Okay, this seems to be working. The cold and the scouting. I really think this is working. Although I'm upgrading my the cold without really being careful. Whoa, there's a boss right here. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Keep going. Keep going. Why? Why is the car to go first? I don't right there. God damn it. Oh, clicking on the portal is so stupid. It's a stupid way to lose. Okay, dead. Moving on. There's some serious bosses coming soon. We got some freezing towers, more scout towers. We're doing pretty well. This is working, guys. This is a miracle. This is an absolute miracle. It's It can get quite confusing in terms of the amount of things that are on screen at any given time. But, 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 but I think it works. So you see how it's becoming gold here at the bottom of the screen? I think that might be something to think about. I clicked on the goddamn portal again. Okay, let's move this portal if you don't mind. Thank you. Okay, I'll get another scouting thing here. What's the range on that? Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Look, look how these guys are getting zapped. This is it. This is the winning, the winning one. Let's freeze these guys a bit more. Are we going to succeed for the first time? We did it! GG, I got a gem kind of prism, some stuff. Okay, time to open everything. There's a lot to be opened here. Start over here. Oh my gosh. Synthesized fiend dagger. What's that about? I got some rare oils, like a gold oil. How much is that gold oil worth? One chaos orb. <laughs> I'm rich. I don't know if this is the one of the best ways to get rich, but I'll tell you what, it's very fun. That's what it is. It's extremely fun. Wow, there's so much to pick up. Opalescent oil. What's that about? The thing is that I don't know what any of these do, so I'm gonna have to look it up online. Bunch of jewelry, some good stuff, mostly oils black oil. Now, one thing I remember now that I'm here is something about being able to put oils in your talent tree. Is that a thing? I'm gonna have to look that up. Somebody brought it up during a stream. Subscribe to YouTube, by the way. And something about being able to get an ability out of it. Oh, there you go. How does that work? Let's have a look at anointments. Do not use this list. It is very outdated. Well, never mind. Anointments... So this is a list of all possible anointments that these can be applied to amulets or blight unique item. Oh, is this the stuff that I just put on my... Uh, oh. Now I get it. So the anointments can be used to get skills for blight, but they can also be used for skills not on blight. So if I use path of building and I have a look at my build right now, which is a uh, bone shatter, right? Juggernaut. This is the one, I think. Yeah. So if I go to end game, I was always confused because if I go to like end game, there were some skills that were out of the somewhere crazy. So there's some, some jewels here. No, maybe I got it wrong. I don't see. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Wrecking ball. Clear teal opalescent. That is so interesting. Let's have a look at my build also real quick. And where did he put that on? Wrecking ball goes on the amulet. But I put the spell suppression on that. Is wrecking ball cooler? Yeah, it's so interesting. I didn't even realize he could do that. Okay, wrecking ball is clear teal opalescent. Can I do that? Opalescent. Do I have those is the question really. Okay, back. So what does it do? Clear teal opalescent. If I use one of these, clear teal. Do I have a teal? Yep. Opalescent. Yep. So if I put that all on my amulet, boom, boom, boom. Oh, what did I just do? And clear is over there. Suddenly, Wrecking Ball. Attacks with 200 melee weapons deal 25% increased damage with hits and ailments. And I get 10% increased attack speed. So that's interesting. But I'm not in the end game. I'm in the mid game. And it's still there. What about early game? Eh, it's still there. What? Do I even... I've done it. I've upgraded it. Wait a second. What's going on? You can upgrade oils. What's going on? Okay. Let me just anoint this. Yeah, that's fine. I did a thing. Now I have Wrecking Ball instead of Spell Suppression. Who needs defense in this game? So now that I have Wrecking Ball, is that I need to check my passive skill tree because I might have already had Wreck. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Refund. So I already had these. So mid game, those go somewhere else. They go in here, actually. In Merciless Skewering, 10% increased attack physical damage. That's huge. And I get Merciless Skewering, impaled damage dealt to enemies impaled by you 
overwhelms 50% physical damage reduction. Okay, that's amazing. I have one point left. Where should I put it? If anywhere. Oh, here, apparently. Golden blood. 10% increased maximum of life. That will be helpful. I needed that. Thank you. Time to go do some more blighted maps. This is a really cool mechanic. I'm really enjoying it. It feels like I'm playing a game within a game. It is a bit harder because they're split, if you know what I mean. Like, they're, there's three different portals that are all very close. Oh, no, they're getting too close. No, no. I can't speak at the same time. It's impossible. Forgive me, sister, for I have sinned. Let's go finish this map. Lady Stormflay is the same one I had trouble with at the beginning of the video. She is a tough cookie. Not tough enough for me, though. Sacrifice at midnight. Yes, I like that one. Okay, no time is to be wasted. We're going to go straight into another map, and we're going to have to pay a bit of money for the blight. It pains me. All right, this map looks good. It looks tiny, so that's good for me because I want it to be small because the smaller it is, the more manageable it is. Wait, I've already found the arena, but I haven't found Cassia. What's going on? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to go back. Like, I completed the map, but I haven't found her, so I need to go back. There she is. She wasn't too far. All right, show me what you got, Cassia. Let's go. LC, boop, boop. Okay, so the strat is same. We have to put some of this here, put some of that here. You know it. You know what it's all about. As long as they're slow, I can get them. This is a perfect map for this, by the way, because it's like nice and restrained. So, yeah, I feel like this is a winner. But I want to upgrade to the scouts there. Scouts is what I need, because they, they're going to be able to DPS real quick, real fast. Continuing here. Bob List is doing the job. My raccoon Frank is somewhere in the corner, probably. Someone get through? Nope. No, you didn't. I'm very happy that there's no more ways to level up because it would have been too much. Like, if I could level up this more than it already has, like these towers is what I'm talking about, that would have been way too much. So I wonder if, like, you know these, the things that you can put on your amulets and your rings, these buffs, these prefix, suffix, whatever they're called, that you can put on your rings and amulets, like, is that not gonna, is it, like, a specific slot just for that, just for blight stuff? Or am I stopping myself from crafting something later down the line because I'm applying these, you know? That's my question. Anyway, I'm done. Sister Cassia, we've done it. Okay, let's do one more. Let's go for a level 16. I think I have... Currencies there are gonna a help me here. I got three, so jungle, desert. All right, perfect, desert. I've never done desert. We're gonna be doing desert, perfect. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. My wife brought me a cup of tea. That's amazing. Ooh, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Stop it, get some help. Okay, not gonna try and juice this map, but I do need to find the king in the mist. Let's see if I can find him without grabbing all the power-ups. It's impossible. I'm absorbing everything else, but no king in the mists. No, didn't find him this time. My map is juiced up to the gills. Great. Let's go find Cassia. She's my MVP. Cassia, there you are. Perfect. All right. I don't love this map for this blight content because it's open. There's chickens everywhere. I don't like that. I don't like chickens with fists. But if I can clear a bit of it, it'll be a good start. Let's clear a bit more. Clear. Here we go. Sister Cassia. So what are my options? Yeah, I don't. See, I hate that. They all go in different directions. All right, we're going to have to do something a bit like that, like that, like this, like that. And back over here, stop them dead in their tracks right here. Wow, this is going to be very, very difficult, like insanely difficult. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I really don't. No, 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 it's not. It's not happening, is it? No, it's not. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Go. Am I supposed to do like maybe a lower level? Potentially. I'm so sorry, Cassia. Forgive me. So clearly level 16 is too much. So if I can't do 16 currently, can I do 15? I don't have any 15s. Uh, what about a 14? Ghetto map, then change it up. Temple map. That might be worth my time. Level 14, force to blight for six chaos. I am dropping more than I'm spending, which is good. Come on, I can do this. Oh, delirium stuff. Still don't know what delirium does. <laughs> there is Cassia. All right, Cassia, this is pretty good. Close, tight tunnels. We like it. We love it even. Let's give it a shot. Sister Cassia, show me the way. It's going to come down over here. Oh, this is a good place to have a big ass one of these. Big ass one of these. And then here, same. We're going to need something to really make them slow. There you go. This is the way. Uh, upgrade this. Upgrade another one down here. All right, go. Just like that. Just like that. I just need the scouts. The scouts seem to be MVP. See? Destroy all that. Ugh. Come on, these guys are fast. These guys are quick. Okay, we're doing pretty well. Oh, we did it. Well, that wasn't too hard. Some cysts. Love me, love me assist. No maps though, I'm just realizing. You know, it's not great. Where are my maps at? Give me a map. 
Yes, volcano map. We're doing this one after. Prime Aotic Resonator. Reforges a rare item with new random modifiers. How much is that worth, by the way? This one here. A hundred chaos orbs, yes. Good money there. Thank you, Cassia. I'm gonna put my fossils away and we're gonna jump straight in. Yeah, perfect, let's go. Oh, I should have put modifiers on it, for goodness sake. Yeah, this is gonna be all over the place. I can tell, Prime can tell, we all can tell. Okay, so we got one over here, one over there. Here I have a cold and here here, I also have a cold. And then level of the summoning. And again. No, what did I do? No. No, you are not what I wanted. Oh, this is, this is F me straight. Straight where I didn't want to be F'd. Yeah, that is not good. That is terrible. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's spreading already. So that's good. Why is there stuff here, by the way? Why would these guys try to come here first? New routes. Okay, this is it. This is where we're going to do the thing. I have only 45 left. 191. Come on. Just need the one upgrade. The one upgrade. Yes, there it is. Now we can upgrade this one too. It's working. It's absolutely working. It's not easy, but I think we can make this work. Still more new routes. It's crazy. If we can slow them down, we can kill them. Do not let this guy through. Do not let this guy through. Let's get some points. Go back. Scouts. Yes. Consider this a playing guide now. I'm, I'm making guides for this game. Me? Put some oils on your amulets. Let's go. So it costs 500 to make a scout. That's good to know. It is absolutely working, by the way. Yeah, there you go. I've got infinite money now, so it's like not a problem. Not even a little bit. Big chicken boss. Yes, my favorite. The problem is I can't always keep an eye on stuff, so I'm a bit worried that there's a boss around the corner, but when I push a bit further, but so far, so good. So, oh, so very good. We're done. There's so much stuff on the ground. So this is awesome. I also, it's crazy that like the visuals are so big. Like I'm part of the software engineering business and I can tell you that some of this UI would never make it past a lot of meetings, if you know what I mean. It's kind of big, bold. Yeah, it just works. You can tell that they always privilege like gameplay rather than, well, I guess UI in this one. It's like, no, no, it makes sense. You know what I mean? Like they're telling stakeholders, don't worry about it. This is this is what they want. And trust me. Blight cysts, orb of alchemy, like all this currency. That's amazing. Like, I don't want to ask for too much, but I think the ability for you to, to tell me, like, what I've picked up during this Blight encounter would be great because I can't keep track. Oh, these, they're all disappearing. These, um, at the bottom, I'm redeeming all the chests. God, this feels good. You can't tell me this doesn't feel good. This feels amazing. That's it. Done. What am I going to do with all these oils? That's the real question. Because once you have everything that you need, what's the point? Yeah, 14 is a good, good level to try. Let's try that one more time. Bonus objective is incomplete. Interesting. That means I need to, there you go, corrupt this and let's freaking go. Light, activate. Show me the way. This tea is giving me energy. You have no idea. Okay. So same difference. I'm going to have to jump into this wildwood looking for the king in the mist. First and foremost. No, didn't find him, unfortunately. No bother. Oh, Cassia, you're right here. Okay, cool. Um, Let me clear the map a bit and then we'll jump straight in. I really want a map. That's that's what I need. I want an, a blight map. So this is coming from two different places. Let's have a look at the choke point. So this is a great choke point. So that's one. And then... Can I find a choke point over here? Yeah, there it is. There's the choke point. Boom, boom. And I need to upgrade my summons as soon as possible, basically. That's the game. I need 500. There you go, 500. That's my scouts here. I need another 500, please. Another 500. 600, perfect. Scouts here, boom. And now it's time to upgrade the thing that slows them. That's where we're at right now. Back and forth until it's done. And then once those are done, once I have a choke point with a fully maxed out ice and a fully maxed out scout, then I can start preparing other scouts. That's where it's at. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. What happened? I clicked on the wrong thing. I clicked on the wrong thing. There was a thing right there and I clicked on it and now I'm gonna lose and it's gonna suck. There you go. Fully destroyed, GG. Yeah, I'm not even surviving now because I clicked on some dumbass bleed or whatever. Let's get through these bags. Yes, I found a map. I'm still upset at myself though. Yeah, screw this map. I can't do it because of this bloody thing that was added because I misclicked. Ugh, okay, let's juice some maps. I think I'm getting addicted to saying juicing. Map tier 15, not too bad. Oh, I'm supposed to do it. I'm supposed to do it in my stash, makes sense. All right, here we go. Reduce cost of building, I don't care. Additional rewards, yeah. I can go up to 90%. Mm -hmm. Golden oil, that seems very powerful. Silver oil, what do I get for that? Quantity of items, yeah, so these are amazing, basically. So if I feel pretty good. Additional rewards, luck 
key. Okay, I'll go with that. This is this is powerful. This is a very powerful map. Let's hope I can pull it off. Choke point is here. Just improve this to the max. There you go. We've already got a good amount of stuff here. Let's put one more summon there. That's it. That's a great start. Okay, this this map is really going to piss me off, so I need to be careful. I mean, not the map, just the fact that my portal was in the middle of the way. That's how I click out. I've done that multiple times. It's not fun. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I need 500 ASAP. Already a boss. Jeez. There we go. Time to put down another choke hold, choke point, which is going to be right probably around here. Yeah, like here. Okay, it's hard sometimes to click like it's a bit as like the UI is big and nice, but sometimes you misclick like way too easily, in my opinion. Level up, level up. It's working. It's working. I've, I've played so many of these tower defense games that I feel like this is it's definitely helping me here. Now I could, yeah, I'm going to create more. So what, what is a choke point? Well, it's where multiple lines kind of, of creatures intersect and we're trying to stop them. And that means that putting down one frozen tower is going to have more impact, if that makes sense. It's going to have more impact because you're, you're impacting two streams of, of mobs. Oh, God damn. In three seconds, it was over. I failed. I was doing so well, but then there was another portal that opened over here. Oh, screw it. I'll be right back. I'm going to go and farm. <laughs> Just farm. Farm as much as I possibly can because I really want to succeed at this level. Plus, I put so many oils on it. God damn. Yeah, you without me. I'll be done. I don't mind anything, even this helmet. Thank you again to our sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Make sure to click on the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen to download Raid Shadow Legends and make sure to join the Nyx Vellum clan. Now, unfortunately, because of time, I wasn't able to actually find another blighted map and I didn't have enough chaos orbs to buy one. So I think it's time for pros and cons of the blight and what it's all about and this mechanic and the towers and all that. So straight up pro, it's my favorite seasonal piece of content that I've played so far in Path of Exile. It's so different from everything else. Some stuff is very unique for sure, but this is this feels more than unique. It feels like something I've already done before, but also it's applied on a game that I love to a game that I love. And so yeah, that's just a huge pro for me. Pro, Cassia, again, she's got a lot of lore. She's voice acted. Um, she sings, which makes me laugh. Uh, she's fun to be around in the game, although she can get quite annoying when she's yelling at me when we're in the middle of a tower defense section. There's obviously a lot of builds also, so I'll, I'll give a pro to the variety of how you can approach this. I've been trying to do this build around summons, but I think there's probably much more that you can do with it. I've enjoyed this so much that I've just been running some maps without actually finishing it. I'm just like, I want to get to Cassia. Yeah, I want to I want to play the blight and I want to win and I want to see all the items that I get. You get so many items, so many chests. It's fantastic. This is really good. This is a really, really good piece of content. I have no regrets spending the money on the stash tab. Also, honestly, I don't know. 10 out of 10. Let's see if there's any cons that I can think about. How about difficulty? But maybe that's not right. Uh, I felt like the difficulty wasn't very adequate. I feel like the map that you're playing on will completely determine a lot of the difficulty. Of course, you've got the tiers of the map for sure, but the maps that are open and that that have various directions in which the enemies can come from creates a lot of anxiety <laughs> because you could be really good. You saw it happen a second ago. You could be in a really good position. You're like, all right, I've created these junction. I've created these places where it really works out. Like they're getting funneled and they're getting destroyed and that's fantastic. And then unfortunately, another portal opens up on the complete other side. You don't see it coming. Boom. So it, re it requires a lot of your focus. So I guess difficulty based on maps. That's my con. And that's my only con. The rest is pretty fun. The oils are great. The fact that I can gain skills from it blew my mind. Yeah, really, really love this piece of content. So overall, fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Loved it. I want more and I will play more, but not tonight because it's been a really long day. So maybe tomorrow. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me once again for dealing with my noob itude. Is that a verb? My, ver <laughs> my noob itude? Is that a word? Noob itude? I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Thank you so much again, guys. Don't forget you can support me with a YouTube membership or just come on Discord. Come have a chat. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.